Hey, it's Shantae from Simply Shantae's Plants. Welcome back to my channel. Recently, Erin Condren released their latest life planners as well as a bunch of accessories to go along with it. That was a very exciting time because we had lots of options to choose from and there was lots of people putting out really, really great content and it was just really fun. Now that we've picked our planners, it's time to start thinking about moving into them so that they are functional for us and that we get everything out of it that we wanted to. That is what we're going to start tackling in this video today. I have here an A5 blush agenda in the Flora Daily Inserts pattern. Now I do want to be very transparent and say I have not set up this agenda yet and I probably won't for a little bit until school is out just because it is getting a little crazy over here. But I will film my setup video and share with you how I'm using all of the different pockets in this agenda to make sure that it is functional for me. Right now I have some random stuff in here that I was playing with during lunch week, including this uh, grocery list notepad that I got on the website a while ago and some rulers and things like that. But what I want to talk about today is actually related to the daily spreads. If you ordered a daily duo or a daily agenda your pages are going to look very similar to this layout this layout right here is consistent across the sizes so whether you got a5 or 7x9 and it is really functional there is a space here for time blocking um, your schedule you could even do multiple schedules on here if you needed to then there's a to-do list and what I want to talk about today is this square box down here this square box last year when the daily duo came out gave me so much trouble i had no idea what to do with it so in this video i will be showing 10 different ways to use this box the first way to use this box is to use it for affirmations or I am statements. You can see here that I have written down four different affirmations that I like to tell myself every morning as a part of my AM routine. I typically choose to write my affirmations down on days that I know are going to be challenging or if the day before I had a really tough day. Every time I open my planner on this day, I will be able to see these affirmations and for me that is a great visual reminder. The second way you can use this box is for gratitude. You can see here that I have written down some gratitude that I felt for my home and specifically feeling safe and stable in my home, but you could use this for your daily gratitude section if you'd like. Practicing daily gratitude is really great for your mental health and also cultivates joy, and so I highly recommend practicing gratitude somewhere, and doing so in your planner here could be that perfect spot. The third way you can use this box is for journaling and or memory keeping. So I like to keep my planners from year to year and I periodically go back and look at them. Having a space in my planner where I can write some memories or journal about what was going on that day is really nice and I love being able to go back and see that at a later time. Here you can see that I have journaled about a fondue experience I had with my partner Nye and I decorated it with some stickers. I cannot write in a straight line to save my soul but that is okay you can draw in lines if you need to i most commonly use this box for my health and wellness goals or tracking here i put my meals breakfast lunch dinners and snack i also have a spot for my water tracking and any movement that i do here i track and i typically get this information from my apple watch on the other side, I will put some wins from the day, whether that was drinking water before juice or coffee or tea or soda, um, which is something that I really am working on, or, um, you know, walking an extra mile or something like that. So I will always put that here as well. Another way that I have loved to use this spot was to put my top three for the day. I put these down here so they're highlighted away from my regular to-do list because these are going to be the most important. I actually went ahead and used these Hexagon sticky notes from Erin Condren. They have some available on the website. These specific colors I got in a seasonal surprise box, so I don't think these specific colors are available anymore, but there are definitely other ones on there so you can use the space for your top three to really pull the most important things from your to-do list into your 
front and center attention. Another great way to use the space is to add a picture. So I have an HP Sprocket photo printer that I used here to add a picture, but you could use any photo printer that you have or even print pictures out on computer paper and then glue them in here. I like doing this because it's a great way to capture a day, a feeling, or an event that happened for the majority of the day. It's another good way to keep my memories in one place. The next way to use the box is great if you have a side hustle or you are working on a specific project or you want to separate your child's tasks from your tasks. You could do anything in this space. What I like to use it for is for tasks that are specific to Simply Shantae's plans, which are my social media pages. I separate these because these tasks really don't fall into my work category and they really don't fall into my home category either. So I wanted to have its own space in my planner. You can see that I have just labeled it as Simply Shantae's Plans and listed out my to-dos and then crossed off the things that I finished and highlighted the thing that I need to make sure I do on the next day. If you are working on a big project at work or with the PTA or anything like that that needed its own space, this would be a great place to put those tasks and to-dos. Another great way to use this box is for your AM and PM routine. I like to list these out periodically when I'm changing my AM or PM routine in case I forget something. It's also a good way to make sure that I am taking my medicine in the morning and at night because I often forget those things if I don't check it off somewhere. A great use of this space is for quotes. So I like to put quotes that resonate with me or that I might find useful on certain days in the bottom section. I've also put in quotes from church notes or um, different professional development or trainings I've been on that have really resonated with me and things that I wanted to remember or carry with me. This is a great place to do that because there's just enough space for it. You can see here I have written, it is not our differences that divide us, it's our inability to recognize, accept, and celebrate the differences by Audre Lorde, who I frequently try to channel into my daily life. Last way to use the spot is to leave a blank. Not every spot on your planner needs to be filled in all the time, and that is a-okay. If you don't have a specific use for the spot right now, that's fine. You might have one in the future. All right, everybody, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for tuning along. I hope you were able to find at least one new way to use this bottom square that will be useful for you in your planning. Obviously, this is not an exhaustive list, so if you have another way to use this box, feel free to let us know that in the comments below. Also, go ahead and let me know if there is another space on the daily page that you would love some tips and tricks on how to use. I'm thinking this space right up here. As always, if you love this video, please go ahead and make sure you give it a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so you know when I post my new videos. Thanks so much for tuning in and I'll catch you in the next one.